Alright guys, I got an exciting one for you today. I've got Chopper 2 on the Mac. And as you can see, I got it from the Mac App Store, January 6, 2011. This nice little startup right here. Wish you could hear it because I'm using QuickTime Player, so you can't hear the sounds, which kind of sucks. But um, it's like making, a, I guess, some cool music right now. And uh, yeah, so this is the beginning of Chopper 2. Here is a uh, like controls area. I'm going to exit to the map. As you can see, it's just like iOS Chopper 2 because, well, that's just how they made it. Graphics are smooth. It's full screen. It might be a bit laggy on here, guys, because um, I, I was exporting in the background. So if you see any laggy graphics, that's why. Other than that, everything looks great. It's all crisp and clean. There is a uh, skip button so you don't have to watch all of this in the top right corner. And as you see my mouse in the very middle of the screen that um I use that to move around with, I guess. But I also use W, A, S, and D to um control the chopper. And as you can see right there, my mouse is over. That's how you skip past all these things. But I'm letting you guys see it. And then so it's got some pretty good graphics as you can see. Overall this game is frustrating for me so far because you guys will see in a couple of seconds how for how how bad I am at this game, how honestly bad I am at this game, and do not make fun of me because I know this is level one. But all right, so W A S D to move around. You go lower to the ground, you go faster. See right here, you can skip past all this stuff too. As you, you'll see me do it on my other tries. Land on the ground like regular guy comes in. You go up, go and land so. Alright guys, about that, I didn't think that tree was uh, something that you could hit, <laughs> I guess you could say, so yeah, I'm a noob with that, I'm pretty sure I skipped this right here, yeah I do. Okay, so don't make fun of me about how many times I crash on level 1, because I know I'm bad at it, I, I don't know, that tree looks like it should be in the background to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This is Chopper 2 on the Mac, OS X, 10.6, Snow Leopard, Failure, I should say. And uh, the graphics, as you can see, they're running 1440 by 900 on a MacBook Air, 1.86 GHz processor, 13-inch screen, 4 gigs of RAM. And it's exporting the background, guys, so mind that, and the graphics will be better. And uh, just so you're wondering, no, I did not replay that clip where I crashed into the tree. That was just me forgetting about it. And, um, yeah, but I'm starting to get more of the hang of Chopper 2 now. It it was a frustration at first. As you can see, these are the clips I've been getting because some trees are in the background that look like they're in the background and then some that look like they're in the background aren't. But anyway, so then you'll land here. Your guy will walk out, you know, go into the building. Exact same as iOS. But one cool thing about the uh, Mac OS X uh, Chopper 2 is you can control it with an iPhone 4 or iPod Touch wirelessly over Wi-Fi. You can use that as a, you can use the whole screen on that as a controller. Um, this is your main menu. You press P to pause, exit to your map. Of course, the map looks the same as always. There's a controls button. If you go back at the top left or main menu, options normal, hard, harder, quit, credits options you know and um it just tells you sound volume and controls and the keyboard and then the remote for your iPod touch and if you want to make this a smaller you can press escape and it'll go into a window as I do like that and um but yeah guys that's pretty much all for chopper 2 I'll see you all later all right bye